Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on two of the hottest stars in boxing today. We have King Ryan Garcia, um, the undefeated um, lightweight world title contender. We all know Ryan has one of the biggest followers in boxing. Then we have Javante Tank Davis, that killer that got rid out of Baltimore, the three-division world champion. We all know Tank is the hottest young star in the game. And, uh, you know, he has that it factor. But Javante Tank Davis, everyone, um, FaceTime Ryan Garcia's father. You know, they had a cool little back-and-forth conversation, seeing if each other is ready, um, you know, to take on one another inside the square circle. As, or should I say, to see if, if Ryan Garcia is ready to take on Javante Tank Davis inside the square circle. You know, so Tank's, I mean, sorry, um, Ryan father said Tank told him, um, is they going to be ready for what he's bringing to the table? We know Tank bringing that power, that speed, and, and you know, the, the, the in and out and that thunder, man. You know, Tank, he want this fight, he want it bad. So, you know, you see him talking to Ryan Garcia, father, hyping things up because this is one of the biggest fights in boxing, and it will show um, once everything is signed, sealed, and delivered, and, you know, them press conferences kick off, and then boys start you know, talking that shit to start getting us hyped for the fight. You know what I mean? Now, this is the fight that we all been wanting for a while. So, when it comes to Ryan Garcia, I'm quite sure him and this fight are going to have talks. And it's not, it's not going to do nothing but boost them up. You know what I'm saying? Boost his confidence up and make him want to get in there and train even harder. Because, you know, it's your father. You know what I'm saying? Your father on the phone, you know, will arguably be the enemy. You know what I'm saying? He's on the phone with the enemy. And, you know, once you win this fight game... Ain't no friends. Ain't no friends. You know what I mean? Especially when you're in the same division. But we know Tank and Ryan, you know, they've been going at it for a while, man. For a while. You know, like I say, since 17, 2017, 2018, once things really heated up, when they were supposed to meet up in California and, and spar, you know, things started taking a turn for the worse. But we all know they would sign up to fight one another and it fell through. But we know Ryan Garcia, him and Tank, they, they talked plenty of times um, on FaceTime. We know, I ain't going to say it was the first time, but the real big time is when Tanker was talking to Ryan on FaceTime when they was on Mike Tyson podcast. And you can tell Ryan was, you know, pissing Tank off a little bit. And, you know, Tank, Tank is Tank. Once he get mad, you know, he, 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 he speak his shit, he talk his shit, and he was letting Ryan know, I'm going to fuck you up. You know what I'm saying? He was letting Ryan know, I'm going to fuck you up. I'm going to show you, boy, that you can't hang with me that my power is different, and that once you feel this power, you understand, once you feel this power, you going to know that you're in trouble. you going to know it. You know what I mean? And, and I'm not going to go in there playing with you. I'm going to try to tear your goddamn head off your shoulders, and whatever happened after that, you know, it happens. You feel me? So I like to see that from Javante Tank Davis, and, you know, he really believes that he's going to fuck Ryan up. You know what I'm saying? Tank really believes once they get in that square circle and that bell go ding-ding, um, Ryan cannot take what he got, and he can't wait to show the people that, you know, this man here can't hang with him. And vice versa, Ryan Garcia, man, been saying he's going to knock Javante, Ta Javante Tank Davis out in two rounds for a while now, bro. For a while now, bro. He really believes he going to finish Tank in two rounds. Two. You know what I mean? Now, Ryan has speed. Look at him in his fucking Cobra bag. Ryan has speed. Ryan has power. Ryan has precision, man. Precision. And it's deadly. It's deadly as y'all can see, bro. That's one thing about Ryan Garcia, bro. He's a fast counterpuncher with, 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 with precision. And he know how to hit you on the right spot to make your ass go limp, to knock your ass out cold, or to get your attention and make you say, God damn, I don't want to get hit with that shit no more. I don't want to get hit with it no more. Ask Javier Fortuna, man. Ask Javier Fortuna. Them late reactions was a mother mother. A mother mother, bro. Like, Ryan was hitting that boy so fast, he didn't know he didn't even know that he was hit. But he was having a late reaction and people was hating on Ryan. Oh, man, that was a fake. Nah, Ryan went in there and fucked Javier Fortuna up. He fucked him up. You know, under his second fight with Joe Goosen. So, you know, Joe Goosen helping the kid get better. He's, he's keeping that chin down. Um... And he's getting better. You can't take nothing away from him. Can't take nothing away from him. But this is going to be one of the biggest fights in boxing, bro. One of the biggest fights in boxing. And pay-per-view-wise, it's going to hang 
to me. And y'all know Earl is my guy. I fuck with EJ Heavy. That's my dog, dog. I go to bed for EJ. I go to bed for Tank. I go to bed for Wild. I go to bed for Canelo. But I really believe Javante Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia is going to hang with Turnsburg Crawford and Earl Spence on a pay-per-view or just might do a little better. Or just might do a little better. This is one of them fights to where you can promote this fight in, in, in five different ways, man. When you have a fight you can promote in about five different ways, you own to something. You got something special. You feel me? You got something special. You know what I mean? Now, living up to the hype, they're going to have to do that, that part once that bell go ding, ding. But the buildup of Javante Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia, oh, my God, bro. That shit is going to be amazing, bro. Now, this is a fight to where you need three press conferences. I'm going to repeat. Javante Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia is a fight to where you need three press conferences, bro. Three. You understand? And, and, and it's going to most definitely do what it needs to do on pay-per-view for the people can see them and just to keep them in the people's face by them being so young, by them having all the energy in the world, by them not liking one another. Them not liking one another and, and knowing how to get up under one another's skin because Ryan Garcia know how to get up under Javante Tank Davis' skin. He do. Ryan Garcia knows how to get up under Javante Tank Davis' skin. He make Tank react to him like nobody else, bro. Like nobody else. Tank want to hurt this boy. And he want to hurt Tank. And that makes for a great fucking press conference, bro. That makes for a great press conference. A great build-up. Especially with the following both of these dudes got, bro. Yeah. It's going to it's gonna most definitely um, have the casuals very in tune. Very in tune. So about Tank, you know, FaceTime. Well, I'm going to say getting on the phone with Ryan Garcia's father. Because it's not like, like he picked up in FaceTime. But they was at the fight. Tank manager was there. Um, Ryan Daddy was sitting right by him. He decided to FaceTime Tank. And put them on the phone with each other. As you can see in the middle, man. You know what I'm saying? You can see it in the middle. Them boys was on the phone with one another. They talked their shit. And, you know, Tank was being respectful. He didn't go crazy and go cuckoo for Coco Puffs on Ryan Garcia's father. But he let him know. He let him know. Yeah, I'm hurt, man. I'm hurt. I'm going to be a problem. No, not just a problem. I'm going to be a nightmare for your son. And when I finish with him, when I, when I get done putting his ass whooping on your son, yeah, y'all going to have to console him for maybe a month. Y'all going to have to console that boy for maybe a month because he ain't going to be able to get over this ass whooping. Yeah, he ain't going to be able to get over this ass whooping. So, you know, he better try to get a rematch clause in the contract because after I'm done with him, he going to want a rematch. Or maybe he ain't going to want a rematch at all. And I'm quite sure Ryan Garcia looking at that tank like, boy, when I get done with you, boy, you're going to need a whole new face restructure. You know how Ryan be talking that shit. Ryan be saying some corny shit, but it be funny. But he know how to... You know how to make Tank pissed off. You know what I'm saying? So, just looking at this situation, man, I feel like that was a great thing about them FaceTiming one another. I feel like that's great for the hype. I feel like all these things are going to come into fruition. And, you know, like I say, once that press conference kick off, the first press conference, you know, it's just going to help build the fight that much more, you know? Now, the fight looked like it's supposed to be on schedule for January. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people thought December was going to be the date. We was going to end the year off with a bang. But we all know the situation with Tank and the courts and things of that nature. You got to handle that and get that out the way first. And then they can bounce back in January if that's going to be the first fight of the year in 2023. It's going to be a hell of a one to start it off. And it's going to set the tone. You know what I'm saying? So that might make 2023 one of the most marvelous years in boxing. Because if you got Javante Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia setting the tone, a lot of people going to have to keep up with that. A lot of people going to have to keep up with that. You understand what I'm saying? And I just can't wait to see these boys grace the ring with one another. It's going to be a hell of a fight. Ryan Garcia most definitely got a shot, everybody. I know Tank is my guy, and I got him knocking out Ryan. But when you got somebody with the speed and the power and the precision of Ryan, precision of Ryan Garcia, Ryan has a shot to knock out anybody. I don't care what your name is. From 140 on down, you know what I'm saying? And he's growing, so he's going to go. He's only going to get stronger because he's blessed with power. Ryan is one of them guys that's blessed with real power, real power, not none of that fake shit. Real power, like Javante Tank Davis, 
both of them boys got the equalizer and that press conference showing all the knockouts between Ryan and Tank is going to be fucking magnificent, man. It's going to be magnificent. So I can't wait for these boys to grace the ring with one another. It's going to have the, the, the boxing world buzzing. We're all going to enjoy it. And it's going to be worth the pay-per-view, bro. It's going to be worth the pay-per-view. Shouts out to Ryan. Keep doing your thing. Shouts out to that killer, that gorilla from Baltimore. You keep doing your thing, Tank. And when y'all boys grace the ring, man, make it a, mem a memorable moment and put that shit in the history books. Can't wait. Until the end, it's your boy Monty. It's the NSBC moving and nobody's safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to donate. OG Monty on Cash App. Trey Hampton 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.